Growing up exploring Alaska's ever-changing landscape inspires a lifetime of learning. That's why Alaska 529 is a proud sponsor of the Alaska Sea Life Center and focused on helping families take small steps now for their child's future education. To learn about the Alaska 529 plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, carefully read the plan disclosure document available at alaska529plan.com. Alaska 529. Save in Alaska. Study anywhere. Everyone gather round, it's a time of day for Virgin Small Fry School. We can hardly wait. Meet new ocean friends, connect with old pals too. Let's learn about the sea, there's so much to do. La la, small fry. La la, small fry. La la, small fry. La la, small fry. Learn and have fun, cool creatures to meet. It's virtual small fry school. Go ahead and grab a seat. Good morning and welcome back to another virtual small fry school here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. My name is Taylor and I'm so happy that you're able to join us here today. We will be hosting these right here on YouTube every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Alaska time. Now it either could be morning for you or maybe wherever you're watching, so good afternoon to you as well. And remember, if you have any questions today during our program, please feel free to text them to the number in the description below. Last week, we had a great, great episode learning all about sea urchins. So we learned about how sea urchins have a mouth and that's where they eat, right? But we also learned that they push their stomach out of their mouth and digest their food on the outside. That was really crazy. Could you imagine if your stomach was on your, was like outside? Wow. We also learned sea stars have a bunch of arms. They have eyes on each end of their arms, which is really cool. And they have a lot of tube feet, which those are tiny suction cups that help the sea stars move and help them go on top of their food. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful pictures with us. They really brighten our day. So today we will be learning about one of my favorite animals in the touch pools behind me. A little secret, sea urchins. So sea urchins live in tide pools and in the rocky shore, and they live here in our touch pools. Now, sea urchins have very, very cool body parts that help them survive in the wild. Let's take a closer look at a sea urchin. So this is a sea urchin. Now, what color is it? Red. Good job. Do you notice anything about this sea urchin? Maybe that it's moving slowly or has spines? So sea urchins have all of these spines that protect them from animals trying to eat them like sea otters. Now, do you have any spines on your body? No, I don't think so. But do you have anything that protects your body? That's right, skin. Our bodies have skin which protect us just like the sea urchins have those spines. So another really cool thing about sea urchins is that they live in the rocky shore. Now, the rocky shore is a very difficult habitat or home to live in because of those big waves that are crashing in. So sea urchins have tube feet, which are all of the little things that are floating around the sea urchin and by the arrow over there. And they're tiny, tiny suction cups that help the sea urchin stick to the rocks. And they also help the sea urchin to move. You can see that the sea urchin is moving ever so slightly, just crawling along the bottom there. So this is a really sped up fast video of a couple sea urchins that you're going to see. So this is a green sea urchin. Not very bright green, is it? Oh look, there's another one. Now they don't normally move this fast, as we saw in the last video. They move really, really, really slowly. But it was important to, I just thought it was a very cool video of them crawling across the rocks and crawling across the bottom just to show how they move. 
Now, could you imagine if you had that many feet all over your body? What would you do? I think that I would just run around everywhere and see how fast I could go. Another really cool thing about sea urchins is where their mouth is. Kind of like sea stars where they were on the bottom of their body. So let's take a look. So here, can you guess where the sea urchin's mouth is? It's right there. Great job. Now sea urchins have five teeth. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Great counting. Thank you for counting with me. Now this sea urchin is going to open and close its mouth again. So we'll watch it go nice and slow. You can also see the tube feet that are sticking to the glass. Look at those teeth. They kind of make the shape of a star. I love sea urchins. So sea urchins have teeth. Now what do you think they use their teeth for? For eating. That's right. Do you have any teeth? You do. Do you think you have more than five? Maybe, probably. So I have a very special guest here with me today that is going to be talking about what sea urchins eat. So Kim, come on out. So everyone, this is Kim. And Kim joined us the last couple of weeks um, as they were feeding the sea stars last week. But this week, we are talking about sea urchins. So today, Kim, what are we feeding our sea urchins? Squid. I love squid. It's really cool, but I don't know if I would want to eat it. The sea urchins love to eat it. Another one of a sea urchin's favorite food is kelp. Now, we don't have a ton of kelp out here right now, but and it's kind of hard to grow at the Sea Life Center, but it is a sea urchin's very favorite food. So Kim, let's go ahead and feed some of these sea urchins here at the front. So Kim is going to drop little pieces of squid and I'm actually gonna cut over to the other camera. That way we can see it a little bit better. Let's see, that's a good one. Thank you, Kim. So sea urchins, as we were talking about, they take their tube feet, which are all the little dark red feet that are coming off, and they can move the piece of squid Kim just dropped towards their mouth, which is in the center. Now this is a special sea urchin right here because it's actually eating a piece of kelp, which is its favorite food. Let's cut to this one beside. Oh, there we go. You can see another piece of kelp right here. And you can see Kim feeding more squid to the sea urchins. Do you see all of their tube feet? Let me zoom in a little bit. So all of those tiny little suction cups that are up against the glass here are their tube feet. I'm going to move to one other red sea urchin, get a good view of its mouth right here. The sea urchin's mouth is right here in the middle. You can barely see the teeth. You can also see the squid and all of the tube feet that are taking that piece of squid and moving it around. Kim, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for helping. All right, so one other thing that sea urchins love to do is they love to give hugs. I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to take my two science fingers and into the sea urchin ever so gently. They're going to bring their spines up to me. I'm going to switch to one finger. I'm going to give the best hug. It's important to be very, very gentle whenever we touch a sea urchin. Wow. Thank you for hugging me, sea urchin. And thank you, Kim, for having me, for being able to feed today. So now, we are going to be sea urchins together. So if you wouldn't mind, stand up wherever you are. 
we're going to pretend to be a sea urchin. So let's take our arms, put them out nice and wide, and make big arm circles forwards with our arms. What about backwards? Can we go backwards? Laura, we're really getting some movements in this morning. What about putting our spines forward and off to the side, kind of crazy? And what about behind us and everywhere? What about reaching up and grabbing a piece of kelp and bringing it down with our two feet that would be hanging out by our body? Super awesome. Thank you so much for being a sea urchin with me. So now we're going to move into our craft. We will be making sea urchins out of Play-Doh, toothpicks, and a marker. Let's go ahead. So, I'm going to open up my box of toothpicks here. I actually colored some already this morning, just to make sure I had enough time. Grab our marker and our Play-Doh. So, in order to really understand what a sea urchin feels like, I thought that we could really get a good grasp for it by understanding that they kind of feel like if you were to gently poke yourself with a toothpick. Yeah, so also make sure you have an adult's help and be careful not to accidentally poke yourself too hard with the toothpicks. Take out some toothpicks here and take my Play-Doh and I'm going to roll it into a ball. Zoom this out just a little bit. All right, roll it into a ball. I'm gonna do it off the camera so it doesn't make you dizzy. All right, so I'm making a purple sea urchin today. So here's my body of the sea urchin. I'm going to take my marker I'm using purple I'm going to color some of the spines here. Just like this. So it sounds like we have some questions here. So Laura. We do have some questions. So Elijah asks, do sea urchins ever lose their teeth? Because I'm losing a lot of teeth. They do, actually. Sometimes I think they can grow new teeth every like 75 days or something like that. I do think that they can lose teeth. I don't think it's as often though as maybe you would lose your teeth. So I don't know incredibly um, how often exactly, but I know that sea urchins can lose their teeth. That's a really good question. And Naomi also has two questions. Ooh. Do urchins have eyes or noses and can they grow new spikes? Oh, these are really good questions, Naomi. So I do believe that sea urchins can grow new spines if they lose one. Um, so when they fall off, they kind of look like, they would honestly kind of look like a toothpick falling off. So that's a really good question. And also, do they have noses and eyes? Well, I know that their tube feet are very, very, very important to them um, because they actually can see with their tube feet. Sea urchins are so cool. Yeah, here are a couple of sea urchin spines that have actually fallen off in our touch pools. Yeah. So I don't think that they have noses. Um, unless Laura, I didn't think so. Great questions. Thank you so much. Can they hurt you? Can they hurt you? Well, if you feel kind of you were to poke yourself with the toothpicks again, kind of how a sea urchin would feel. A sea urchin would, would never hurt you on purpose, but they sometimes can give boo-boos every once in a while. And that's probably because maybe we weren't being gentle or careful. How many spines do they have on their body? Oh, I wish I knew how many spines sea urchins had on their body. It would probably take forever for us to sit here and count all the spines. So they have a lot. I know that's kind of a really big answer. They have a ton of spines. We're gonna add all of our spines 
that are our toothpicks to our sea urchin here in just a little bit. How is your sea urchin coming along? Great. Mine's coming along pretty well, too. I love the color purple. What's your favorite color? So how do sea urchins see? Yeah, so Naomi just asked how they see. So we'll go back and talk a little bit more about how they use their tube feet. So they basically can sense light with their tube feet, which I think is super, super, super cool. And they can't really see like you and I can see, but they can exact, like know exactly where they're going by using their tube feet. It's so important for them to have these tube feet. Another fun fact is that they actually breathe through their tube feet too. Isn't that crazy? Could you imagine if you breathe through your teeth, or if, excuse me, through your feet? All right. So, I'm going to close up my box of toothpicks here, set them aside, and take some of the ones that I already worked on earlier. Take my ball of Play-Doh and stick my toothpicks, spines, all into my sea urchin. See, again, I don't even know how many toothpicks that I have. Put them in all different locations on the body of the sea urchin. Oh, this looks so awesome. This has probably been my favorite craft I've done so far. Be careful though, it's going to get a little spiky. So can you find sea urchins here around Alaska? Yeah. Very good question. You can find sea urchins here in Alaska. So sea urchins love to live. Um, they love to live on rocks. They live on the rocky shore, what we've been talking a lot about recently. They love to live in tide pools. Sometimes they live on kelp. As I was saying that they really, really, really love to eat kelp. It's their favorite food. So it makes sense that they would live by it. I think I would love to live by my favorite restaurant. It'd be really fun. Yep, so they can be found right here in Alaska. And sea otters love to eat sea urchins. How many different sea urchins do you have in your touch tank? Good question. So we have three different sea urchin species or different types. And we have red sea urchins, which was the first video we looked at. The dark red color, but sometimes they even look a little purple. We also have green sea urchins, and they have a lot shorter spines. So their spines aren't as long as the red sea urchins. They're a little bit shorter. And they're a greenish color. And then lastly, we have purple sea urchins. Now our purple sea urchin is pretty purple. Actually looks pretty similar to this one right here. I guess this one actually may be a red sea urchin even though it looks purple. Sneak peek of our book we're going to read. So those are our three different species of sea urchins here in our touch pools. So. How do you feel about your sea urchin? Oh, let's give it a mouth. And take one of my toothpicks and draw a little hole in the bottom. And if I was really good, I could count one, two, three, four, five teeth. I tried my best. All right, so we have successfully made a sea urchin. So. We cut back and look how cute it is. It's a little pokey, but it looks very similar to the sea urchins that we have in our touch pools here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. It's been so fun making this today. I'm really, really, really happy you were able to join me here today, right here on YouTube. It's been really fun. I want to say thank you to a couple of things today. 
Thank you to the Alaska 529 for allowing these programs to happen. Thank you to the sea urchins that were so cool to learn about. And I want to thank Kim one more time. But Kim walked off. She probably had to go feed some other animals here at the center. So stay tuned. Next week, we will be learning about sea anemones. And Rebecca will see you back. And here's our book that we will be reading. But before you go, real quick, if you haven't had a chance to join our Facebook page, you can do so in the description below. Bye, you guys. Sea Urchins by Lola M. Schaefer. Sea urchins are ocean animals. Some sea urchins live on rocks. How many sea urchins are living on this rock? Count with me. One, two, three. Good counting. Some sea urchins live near seaweed. What color is this sea urchin? It's black, yeah. Each sea urchin has a mouth. Right there. Each sea urchin has five teeth. Right there. What color are its teeth? White, yeah, just like ours. Sea urchins grind food with their teeth. Sea urchins have sharp spines. What color are the spines on this sea urchin? Purple. Yeah, these are purple sea urchins. Spines hide sea urchins. Where is it? right here. Spines protect sea urchins from predators. The end. <laughs>